Hello, I'm Quentin from Bastard Keyboards and today we're going to have a short introduction on how to configure your keyboard. For this we're going to use VIA and VIA is an interface with which you can configure a lot of things on your keyboard. It is only available on web HID enabled browsers so today we're going to use Chrome. All our keyboards come pre-flashed with VIA so when you receive it the first step is to connect it and then open use via.app and we will include a link in the description. Once you are on the website you can click on authorized device and select the keyboard that you are using and click connect. On the top you can see there are multiple tabs and the tab we're going to use mostly is the configure tab. You have a visual representation of all the keys on your keyboard, including, if you have one, the rotary encoder and the trackball. All our keyboards come with pre-flashed firmware, including default key maps, which will be either MirioQ or QWERTY. If you want to change your key map, you can do so very easily through this interface. On the left at the bottom, we have our first tab, which is called key map. And in the key map, you can see all the different keys that are available to you. The first tab is basic, which is QWERTY, numbers, functions, and then a few additional codes like caps lock, home, insert and delete, and so on. To change a key, simply click on the key. Here I'm going to change the Q key, and then click on the key you want to assign, so I for example. And that's it. You don't need to compile anything. All the changes are immediately transferred to your keyboard. On top of the basic keys that we have here, we have other tabs, including media for volume, previous, next, and so on. And then we have layers. So the way layers work, if you are not familiar with them, is they're essentially custom shift keys, which is you have your base keys, which are here, which are QWERTY. And when you hold a specific key, you can go to a layer. So for example, here, if I hold this key, I will go to layer three and I can access the layer to the top left. And when I hold the key, I have access to all those new keys. And those are specifically mouse keys, which we will talk about in a minute. You can add layer keys through this layer tab, but if you want to go more specific, for example, layer tab and so on, you will need to use specific key codes, which we will include a link in the description. So for example, this LT key code, I can modify it by going to the special tab and clicking on the any key. And this code means that when you tap the key, it sends the Z key. And when you hold it, it sends you to the third layer. So again, the keyboard comes pre-configured with those. But if you want to change the way you access your layers, or you want to change to add some layers, that's possible. Another example is this key here which is, I'm going to click on the any key. This one is very simple. When you hold it, it goes to layer one. And layer one is the symbols on the top and a numpad on the right. Now that we've seen how to configure your basic keys and customize your layers, there's a few more things that are specific to the Bastard keyboards. If you go to the custom tab over here, you have trackball specific key codes like sniping and DPI configuration or drag scroll. Those key codes are explained in our online documentation and they are also implemented by default on the keyboard. But if you want to move them or add them somewhere else, this is how you will do it. You also have a macro tab in which you can configure your macros. So you will add, 
for example, on this key here, macro zero. And then you can go here in macros to actually configure your macro. And you can then simply record through your keyboard a series of action, for example, pressing multiple keys. And then when you click on that key, it will trigger the macro. Once you change your layout, you can go on the key tester tab over here to test that the keys trigger in the correct way. Once you're happy with your layout, don't forget to save it. For this, in the configure tab, go to save and load and click on save current layout. This way, if you ever get a new different keyboard or you experimented and you want to go back to the previous layout that worked for you, you can simply load your previous save. If your keyboard comes with RGB, whether per key or underglow, you can also configure it through VIA. For this, go to the Lighting tab, and there you have access to a few different settings. You can change the brightness, You have access to a lot of different effects. And for each effect, you can also change its speed. If you would prefer a solid color, that is also possible. So this was how to configure your keyboard in VIA. We hope that this video was useful in helping you. And now you should have the tools you need to configure any keys you want, change the RGB, macros, and so on. If you have any questions, feel free to drop by the Discord, and we will include a link in the description below. Thank you for watching, and if you like this type of content, consider liking and subscribing.